Well, I just can't help it. I guess I have a problem. I'm fixated on this really, um, I don't know what you want to call it, um, deplorable looking thing. Um, anyways, this is, uh, I'm on Route 131 in Thomas, Maine, and uh, here's Dragon Cement's um, smokestack. And as I mentioned yesterday, or the day before, or whatever it was, one of the videos, just by these railroad tracks is um, a ditch where I've seen turkeys, in fact, right over there and right in here, drinking water. And that water is some stagnant, nasty looking. And not only that, but there's, let's see if we can find some. I don't want to walk too far down the tracks because they uh, frown on it. This stuff right here, I think it's clinker. Or it's some kind of clinker, as you can see. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. Look at this stuff. It's like melted rock. And it's, it's, really, uh, it's really quite funky looking. And this stuff is all over the place. It's really gross. It, it just looks like there's melted plastic and everything else in it. I'm not quite sure what it is, but you can see, you can see that it's just got all kinds of, it looks like it was a meteorite or something, but they're spewing all over the railroad bed. Just literally, almost like, um, almost like it's been dumped here and mixed in with the rocks that are here. You'll look, I mean, there it's just everywhere. You can find it no matter where you go. So anyway, there you have the nice, nice runoff. The Dragon cement kiln dust pile is that hill that's been covered with grass. Um, well, it's 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 that kind of like horizon-looking thing that you've seen before from a different video, and. Uh, it's sitting in an old unlined quarry bed that I don't know how deep it is, probably over a hundred feet deep. And things like uh, it looks like a mountain. But anyway, just across the street, or just down the road here a little bit, there's a culvert, and I'll uh, get right back to you on it. Now I have an employee of Dragon Cement sitting here watching me. God knows why. He's probably waiting for a police officer. I haven't done anything wrong and I'm not trespassing. All I did, all I did was park my vehicle right there next to a telephone pole right off of a state-owned road. Not on anything. There's no trespassing sign or anything. And my attorney's been already in contact with Thomaston PD, talked to the chief of police. So, anyways, this is all for evidence. Here's the, here's the river, and this culvert comes from here. It runs under the road, comes from that way. Anything that flows down would come through this culvert. And then it ends up coming down here and flowing out into the St. George River. And who knows what this foamy substance is. I have no idea. It's not ice. It's foam. And it runs down through here, down the river. And uh, I don't know, I don't know how good the water is or how clean it is or if it's even been tested, but it should be. Anyways, there you have it. Nothing like, nothing like seeing stuff like this going on. I bet there isn't a darn fish in there.
Not even a single creature. It's probably way too, pH is probably way too high in it. Anyways, that's that. And uh, there's some other places I want to shoot some video of. And, uh, well, we'll be back. Well, now I'm down in Rockland. Rockland, Maine, right on the water as you can see. That's um, Penobscot Bay, Rockland Harbor rather. And this is one of Dragon's shipping terminals. I was down, remember I was down on the railroad tracks. Well, they bring their, their uh, cement product down here. And if you look at these cars, they're just like, you can barely even see the lettering on it. They're so dirty. They're covered with cement. They drive these, bring these things by rail car down here. And I mean, it, it's a pretty frequent thing. Um, and then they ship them out. Kind of hard to see because the sun's in there, but I'm across the street. Oh, you could give them a call if you want to. Anyway, if you need some cement. Um, but down there, there's a, it's a shipping terminal and they ship it out by barge and bring it down to probably Boston or they might even bring some of this stuff down they have a terminal in Boston too from what I've from what I'm aware of but geez how much stuff falls off those things when they're going down the down the railroad tracks and into those ditches that all the all the little critters drink out of and what's in cement well that that can be easily determined by looking it up um, I'm going to provide some links too, I think, on on my next site to the Mine Safety and Health Administration. On their website, it's very informative. You can uh, you can look up all kinds of history, violation history, health history, um, accidents at the facility in the quarry or at the quarry. Um, there's just a wealth of information on the site, and all you need is the mine identification number which everything is public um, you just uh, navigate on the left hand side of the page and um, I can't quite remember right now what the uh, uh, what you look under it might be uh, history or mine history or something to that effect and you enter the mine ID 17 0 I believe is the number and uh, I can I can confirm that later on. I'll type it in when I look it up with the link. I'll copy the link and paste it into my little note. So, uh, anyways, here, here you have it. Um, you know, I, I never I never said that we don't need cement on this planet. It's a good thing, but there should be a way to recycle all the old stuff and stop blowing up the earth. The uh, the, the explosives that they use, are they use tens of thousands of pounds or tons of ANFO, which is ammonium nitrate fuel oil blend. And when you use tons of that, God knows what the residue from that stuff does once it gets into the fractured bedrock in the quarries and uh, into the aquifers. It, it just is, uh, it, there's so much to think about that it's just not possible to get it all in a 10 minute video or even a 10 year video for that matter. Anyways, uh, my first video that I shot I have to apologize because I I uh, guess I left the camera on and um, I was informed that I had some bad singing on there. I'm, I'm not a singer. Sorry about that. And it was a, I guess I uttered a slur too which was uh, kinda under my breath and talking to myself um, well they say that highly intelligent people talk to themselves I guess Albert Einstein did and uh, well he was no dummy was he anyways have a nice day and if you have any questions you can always give Dragon a call have a lovely day